When you open up Cricut Design Space, you get this grid, which is called the canvas. On the left side, there's a panel of options for creating designs. You can start with simple shapes and make something elaborate or choose from thousands of images, which is what we're going to do. I am making a vinyl decal for a Christmas sign, starting with a gingerbread man image I pre-saved. All you have to do is click on the image you like and add to canvas on the bottom right. Now we can use the guides in the corners of the image to drag and resize or use the size button at the top of the screen. Now I'm adding a few more images to my design and I want them in the shape of a Christmas tree. So I'll add a tree shape. I resize the tree to fit my sign. And now that it's too big, we can use a zoom button in the lower left to see the whole design. I use the color panel at the top to change the tree to white so it's easier to see all my images and I want this to be in the background so I right click with my mouse and click send to back. You can also click and drag up or down in the layers panel to the right. My next image is a candy cane and I want to tilt it a little bit after I resize it. So to do that we just hover over a corner until the line turns into a curve, then click and drag to rotate. Then I'll right click again on it to duplicate the image because I want multiple of this. Next, I added a snowflake and I rotated each one. So to fix the spacing, I select all three, click on a line at the top and click distribute horizontally. And then I aligned my other lines and you can also hit distribute uh, a line at bottom to make them all even at the bottom. Now my next image had layers to it and I only needed one. So again on the layers panel, hover over each layer of the image and you'll see an eye shape. So click on the eye to hide it from the image and I'll just hide all except for one. Now here is my complete design, but before we cut it, I'm going to hide the tree because that was just a guide. Then to make sure it cuts exactly where everything is, you can click and drag a box or click select at the top. Then on the bottom right, click attach, which keeps everything in place. Once everything is set, we click make it at the top right and you'll see exactly where to place your vinyl for the cut. The left side tells you what size mat to use and once we hit continue, you can choose the material. I have some favorited, but you can just click on browse all materials and scroll through or search. For this project, I used premium vinyl and kept the default pressure setting for the cut. Now we take the vinyl, cut it to size and place it on the cutting mat with the backing face down. And make sure it lines up with the grid lines. This is the easy part. Just follow the prompts and let your machine do the work. Next is weeding, which is just removing the pieces that will not be part of the final design. And I love using this pen tool rather than the Cricut weeding tools. The final step is to transfer the design onto a surface. And we do this using transfer tape, which is basically a clear vinyl. 
I like to bend my transfer tape so I can line it up at the top and then smooth it down. This way I don't accidentally stick the tape to a piece at the bottom and lift it out of place. I use a scraper to smooth everything down and get the design to stick to the tape. Now because my transfer tape wasn't quite long enough, I cut a little piece for the bottom. Now removing the backing is easier if you flip the mat over and then peel the backing up from there. You may need to use the scraper again just so that the vinyl doesn't peel up. I'm placing my decal on this wood sign I made. Check out my other channel if you're interested in a tutorial for that. I marked the center and again I bend my design so it doesn't stick before it's in the right place. Then once I center it, I place it down and use the scraper again to stick the vinyl to the surface. Take care here when removing the transfer tape so the vinyl doesn't peel up and we are done. Here is my cute little gingerbread Christmas sign. I hope you enjoyed this design space tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe for more Cricut tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.